Hi everyone, welcome to Curated by Becta's meal kit number 153 for June 16th to the 18th. Thanks so much for ordering this week and thanks for letting us send some deliciousness your way. And a special shout out to all the fathers. Happy Father's Day. I hope that you are not making this kit, but hopefully someone, especially your kids, might be finishing this for you. The meal was set up to be super, super easy so that you can spend your Father's Day week, um, you know, just playing with your kids, which is great, and hanging out with your spouse. So um, why don't we go ahead and get started? The first thing to do is preheat the oven up to 450 degrees, or if you're like me with a convection oven, 425. Um, you want to just take the ribs out, put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper, and pop it in there. We're going to do 12 minutes at first, then baste it, put it back in for four more minutes, baste it, and then again. And then the potatoes and carrots, um, stir them individually, the carrots together and then the potatoes together with salt and pepper and a little neutral oil, either canola oil or grapeseed oil, and put them on a separate baking sheet. Same amount of time, basically, it's two minutes less, but we'll just pop them out of the oven while the ribs are finishing off. And so while we're waiting for my timer to go off in just another minute, um, we can start on our beautiful kale Caesar salad. So take the kale out of the bag, put it in a, in a mixing bowl, and then you want to get all of that beautiful garlicky homemade dressing in there. Don't leave any in the ramekin if you can. And then we're going to do a great job mixing it around so that it is all nice and, and creamy. So some will stick to your tongs and do what they do at Sweet Green in, in the States. I don't think we have sweet green in Canada, but I, I see them. They always go up and down with their tongs. And so I've taken that and hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. I want to make sure to remember to add that instruction because I think we forgot to add it. And this is why we do the meal kit videos in advance is to test these things. So once it's all nicely mixed, you can even leave it on there for a little bit because it's going to break down the kale and tenderize it, although we've chopped it very nicely. Um, but the acid in the, in the dressing breaks down the kale even more and makes it really nice and soft for you. Hey Google, off. Hey Google, set a timer for four minutes. So take the ribs out, hit it with some of our lovely Kansas City barbecue sauce. This is Rich's signature, Chef Rich. You can do it both sides if you want, but really the top side is, the presentation side, is, as Chef Rich says, is the important one. I'm going to do this fast so I don't mess up my timer. I should have started the timer after I put this back in, but these things happen. Nice and saucy. And it's also been 12 minutes for the veg. So we're gonna give it a stir. Turn them upside down if, if you've got the potatoes all done on one side like I do. And just give the carrots a little stir. And these are lovely fingerling um, potatoes, red fingerlings. And don't forget to give it a good amount of neutral oil, a canola or grapeseed oil. So it's got a luxurious mouthfeel and some salt and pepper. So that's back in. Okay, so we can go ahead and plate the salad, but actually before I do, I'm gonna take the dessert out. It's been chilled and I'll leave that on the side and we'll deal with that in just a second. Um, the uh, ramekin might have stuck a little bit to the dessert, uh, but don't you worry. That's why, here, I'll even move this over here. We have our s'mores tart with dark, dark chocolate ganache, brulee or creme brulee, uh, marshmallow fluff, and graham and pretzel crumble. What a great Father's Day week dessert. And for those of you who are not fathers, that's okay. You're going to enjoy it too, because it's pretty special. So there we go, our s'mores tart. I can't wait to dive into that one. <clears throat> okay, now we can plate the salad. By the way, let me tell you about the wine. I'll get to the salad. So um, 
two of our most popular ones. Um, we really wanted to make it, um, you know, a broad appeal this week. We've got a La Lot Pinot Grigio from Alto Adige in Italy. Very fresh, vibrant, crisp, refreshing. Great with the Kale Caesar. Mm. And then for the uh, red, we've got, you need something big and juicy with the ribs. So we're done the um, Septima Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. Now we featured these two wines quite a bit uh, before, but you know what? They are, they're big hits. People love them when we send them along. And yep, I asked for more kale and I probably didn't need it all. So your salad is going to be a little more heavily dressed than mine, which is a good thing because I love the garlicky stuff. There's a lot of kale here and we have so many things to put on top of it as well. Our son is out working tonight, so he'll come home and enjoy the rest of this later. So we've got our sourdough croutons. I'm going to sprinkle that around. Don't feel like you have to use it all. We might scale this back a touch. That's a lot of crouton. Then we've got our Parmesan. Again, we might scale this back a little because that's a lot of cheese, you know? Hey Google, off. And these ribs are looking beautiful. We've been smoking them like crazy at the restaurant. Hey Google, set a timer for four minutes. All right, juicy and delicious. And if you like it really saucy, you can put more barbecue sauce on um, at the end. Some people like really saucy ribs. Okay, so back in the oven. All right, let's finish dressing this salad. Um, so we've got capers. Drain the juice, by the way. You don't need the caper juice on there. Some people like it, but I would say the capers are briny enough and we don't need that. Hi, honey. You're on video. <laughs> I'm making my Father's Day meal a few days in advance. And then we've got our lardon, our country bacon. You can never have too much of this. So be generous with the lardon, especially for the dads, because the dads always love the bacon. Yeah, and if it spills over, that's all good too. Push it back in a little bit. And then we've got our fresh dill. And you can rip it up a little bit. And... This is what makes, um, there's a few things that make Chef Rich's Caesar salad really special, but the dill I think really makes it pop. Get it all in there. So there is our lovely um, kale Caesar salad with the lardon, the croutons, the parmesan, the, the um, sourdough croutons. It is gonna be great. I know our son's gonna eat the heck out of that when he comes home from work. Okay, I can do a little cleanup now. So um, we can start plating the main course while the ribs are finishing off. So we've got this buttermilk slaw. You want to put it, you want to mix it, very important, because the juice is going to be at the bottom and you want everything to um, get nice and saucy. I'm going to put it near the outside of the plate because there's going to be lots of other things on the plate. And definitely get that juice in there. And very important, hit it with some salt and pepper. I actually go extra pepper on mine for coleslaw because I want a little bit of a bite to it. You don't have to season it too much, but I like a little extra. Okay. Now we're very close with the um, carrots and potatoes. So why don't we take those out of the oven and because we have to drizzle the honey on there while they are finishing. 
or while they're hot. You can do it right on the baking sheet with the parchment, save you a little bit of cleanup with another bowl. Grab your tongs, give it a, a stir. Okay, I'm gonna put my potatoes down first. A lot of potatoes, a lot of purple on this plate too, between the purple potatoes and the, um, and the coleslaw. And I didn't even try the Malbec yet. Hmm. Very nice. All right, there's a lot of potatoes. But you know what? Dad's like the potatoes, so we might, we might not decrease the, the amount of that. There's a lot of food here. And, hey, Google, off. I'm going to turn the oven off. There we go. Hey, Google, off. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. And now for our ribs. It's pretty funny. I just recognized that I don't think I've burned myself, or at least badly, in a very, in this whole time that we've been uh, doing our meal kits, which is great. And of course, that's going to jinx me now. And for those of you who ordered an extra half rack of ribs, good for you. That looks like a lot of potato. I'm going to replate this so that there's more carrots showing, less potato showing, because carrots are more colorful. And it makes it for a better demonstration photo. Oh, dropped the honey on the floor. But it landed the right side up. All right, I'm going to clean this up in a little, in a, in a hot second, as they say. But in the meantime, let me show it off. This is our uh, smoked baby back ribs with uh, the uh, buttermilk coleslaw, roasted uh, fingerling potatoes, and our honey roasted carrots. I hope you love your meal. Thanks for ordering this week. Please drop us a note. Give us some feedback. We always love it. And I uh, really appreciate your support. Happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. And uh, for everyone, I hope you love your meal. We'll see you.